Hello and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. So happy to be back. Work catches up, life catches up, but toys are just as important as those things. So you gotta make time. You gotta make time for everything. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm very, very excited to be doing this video because uh, this is part one of two reviews that I'm doing for the Mondo Gecko and Muckman by NECA. So before anybody asks, uh, no, these are not the ones that I uh, pre-ordered uh, last week on the site. Those have not come in yet. Don't panic. Yours is still on the way too. Uh, I'm Mine that I ordered on the pre-order video uh, last week, I'm still waiting for those. But uh, my buddy uh, Sean was nice enough to say, hey, you could open up and review mine. Thank you for that, Sean. Of course, I can't keep it afterwards. I got to give it back, but we'll see about that. Maybe I fall in love and I go, hey, Sean, you know what? I misplaced it. I don't know where it is, okay? But uh, anyway, very, very excited to open these. And uh, we'll do, which one are we going to do first? Let's do, uh, uh, let's do Mondo Gecko first. So, so I don't have my usual setup, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, review it right here. Why not? I'm already sitting down. I'm already ready to go, raring to go. Uh, so you got Mondo Gecko here. Uh, you got the box. He's cruising in the sewer. And then uh, Shred Mondo Shred. On the back, you got pictures of Mondo and... Uh, our buddy Kerma right there, the alien turtleoid uh, that I'm very, very excited to uh, to open and have in my display. Pop them open, take a look. Oh, oh my God, I'm so excited for this figure. Uh, this, uh, this skateboard is one of my favorites, and this is one that I think if somebody was selling it loose, I would probably buy it just to have like another one. So very, very excited to open this guy up. So let's go ahead and do that and then show you what we're looking at. See you there. All right, we are back, Mr. Mondo Gecko. This is a great little figure, okay? Little, he's not that little. Actually, let's just compare him real quick to the uh, to the Ninja Turtles right here. So you got Leonardo. I mean, they're about the same size, which I think is uh, is correct. This guy looks like he's got a little more a little more presence. Uh, he looks a little more beefy. Maybe it's the ripped shirt or something. But uh, I uh, I really really love. The sculpt on this guy speaking of the rip shirt just the coloring and the animation on the back is really really cool they always excel at that and uh this little i don't know what this is looks like almost like a like a nike swoosh um and with the lightning bolt and everything i know in the figure they got i think the skull or whatever i kind of like that more but uh it's fine um the face right here I'm, I'm all over the place starting with the shirt then the face and everything but uh i just love this face he always looks like he's stoned to me <laughs> just i think it's just something about the red eyes and uh this is his general face and his 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 teeth his protruding teeth jaw opens by the way there you go so uh that's a nice little touch. And then you got the uh, the little hairline or the little little strand of hair. And you got the ponytail right here and you got the cap. The cap does not come off, but eh, it's fine. Um, then moving down here, you got the, uh, the little arm uh, or the little elbow pads with the little points on there. He's got them on both. And um, the sculpt has, uh, or the paint has that shading where it's like, uh, what, you know, the lighter color and then the cell shading. Some people don't like that. I'm fine with it. I like it for the cartoons. He's got this, uh, these abs. There's no ab crunch, but he's got, uh, he's got odd abs, Mondo Gecko. They're sort of like, just like these little, little, little shapes here. Um, he's got a glove on one hand. He's doing a little bit of a Michael Jackson there. Uh, gloved hand is really, really cool. And then just his, uh, his shorts, Shorts are great, uh, knee pads, he's got the spike on there, and he's got a skull on one, and then he's got these sneakers, which I really, really like. They remind me of Bebop sneakers, and uh, they're real fashionable. So um, it, the articulation is uh, you get the ball joint right here, and he looks up pretty well and looks down, I think, really, really well, too. He can kind of look at Kerma, which we'll take a look at in a second, and then he's got ball joints right here. Mine seem pretty pretty tight but i don't want to oof a little fleck i don't know if you could see that little fleck of paint just came off very very careful with these uh with these neca ball joints when they when they come out i'm always nervous about <laughs> when i open up a neca figure uh no double joint at the elbow and uh but you do have the uh the joints at the uh at the wrists you can go back and forth and he's got the uh he's got the swivel swivel and everything and then you get the ball joint uh at the the thighs he looks like he's pretty articulated which he would need to be because he's going to be skateboarding and doing all kinds of shit 
cops right outside my door. Sorry about that. And then he's got uh, the double joint at the knee. So he has the double joint. Fuck, man. Fucking ambulance. Dude, dude this, this, this used to be a good neighborhood. I don't know. It's, this is Glendale. Safe neighborhood. But this crazy, crazy ambulances and, and everything. Um, where was I? So, yeah, uh, double joint at the knees. Which I guess is more important than the elbows because, you know, he's going to be bored and you want him to do all kinds of shit. Um, so I'm, I, if I had to take one, I would take that. And then he's got the hinge at the... Uh, he, does he have a hinge at the ankle? He does. The hinge at the ankle doesn't give you much. Um, he does have a rock too, but you're not going to get much out of it. There's actually... Yeah, I think it's because of these shoes. So this is a little difficult. But solid figure. Solid Mondo Gecko. In terms of his accessories, um, the first thing is uh, this uh, the this gauntlet. You get the gauntlet that goes over his uh, over his arm, and it can kind of you can you can uh, uh, break it up into two, and you can kind of place it on there. I'll do that. I'll do that later. I'll take some pics. You got the little bitty gecko right here. If you could see it, Mondo Gecko pre Gecko Mondo Gecko. Okay, get Geico insurance. Um, then you get two hands. Uh, two grabby hands. That's all you get. And then you get this blaster. Comes with the uh, foot soldier, too. I really, really like this blaster, though. And then you get this uh, ticking time bomb. Looks uh, 09157 if you can't read backwards. And then you got this money. Okay. Flipper Frank's favorite accessory. Just a bag full of money. Boop, right there. And then you get this awesome fucking skateboard. I love this skate. Look at this. Look at this skateboard. Okay. With the... What is that called? The little, uh, the, like, the mufflers on it and the, the engine. This is a beautiful skateboard. I would like to get multiples of these um, for my Ninja Turtles, but I really, really like this. And then, of course, the greatest accessory. Always love uh, when an accessory is a new character. Kerma, right here. I don't even call him an accessory. He's like a pack-in. And uh, his articulation is fairly limited, but it's okay for what he is. So, um... Uh, first of all, the sculpt is, they nailed the sculpt, okay? Just look at his face, turtleoid face, peaceful guy. Uh, you cannot close the mouth, by the way. It is the way it is. Um, and the ball joint, the way it works is, it's not at the neck. It doesn't look like it's at the neck. It's right at the top of the neck. So you can have him look up. You know, he's got to look up. He's got to look up at everybody. Everybody's going to be taller than him, can look down. And then uh, in terms of the arms, there's no articulation at the elbows, but you do get ball joints at the... Uh, at the uh, at the shoulder, so you get that, and then there are ball joints. Um, if you can see, there are ball joints uh, where the leg or where the thighs attach, but they don't. They're kind of stuck for me. All I could really get out of this is turning, really turning, um, turning them. But this is Kerma. What are you going to do with it? I mean, I'm not going to get real dynamic with this guy. It doesn't matter anyway. Uh, but uh, but yeah, real excited about these two, man. I'll take some pictures just to kind of show you guys scale and all that stuff. But uh, uh, very, very happy about this, uh, this Mondo Gecko. Um, this, this guy is just right out of the cartoon. I love his face. His face just, every time I see this guy's face, it cracks me up. So, um, so yeah, he'll go somewhere. I, 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 I want to steal an idea from somebody else that, uh, I saw that they did on their, uh, on their diorama where they kind of had him, I guess you could plug in, you know, the little, uh, clamp that, uh, levitates Baxter in the air. You can plug it right in to the diorama in place of a brick and kind of have him skateboarding up in the air. So I might do something like that. I might, I might steal that idea because it just looked so cool. But, uh, but yeah, he'll be a, a, a neat addition uh, to, uh, to the set. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I went over his tail. His tail is uh, not articulated, but it's a ball joint. You pop it in and it's uh, it's a smaller version of like the leather head and the Triceraton tail. Um, so it's not too intrusive. I like that it's smaller. I do wish though that there was like maybe like a hinge in the middle so you could i don't know do something with it or put it to the side because they tend to you know i don't know sometimes this is obtrusive but anyway um very very excited about this figure and uh yeah i'll put him in the diorama and get to muck man next but we're rounding it out man we're getting a full ninja turtle cast i mean mondo gecko muck man you know antrax all these guys coming out chrome dome i'm su super excited what a time to be a turtle fan and uh and that's it i'll take some pics uh, of, of, of these bad boys and uh that that is all let me know what you guys think about this like comment subscribe and we will see you next time Bye bye